Hey, good afternoon everyone. Riley Foster, Foster's Custom Steel. Guess what we drug back? Yep, this is now in the state of North Carolina down at my shop. It was a royal pain in the keister to get that thing out of that church and up those non-existent steps into the onto the road and off the road three foot high up in the bed of my truck this thing is heavy I want to give thanks to my brother Ron um, God blood God love you brother I thank you so much for all the help you've done and that sorry old no good for nothing neighbor of mine um, Robert Lamar brother you know I appreciate you he went up and helped me do the electrical and um, get the sheetrock finished up both of them just can't do it without you guys it's great to have good friends my neighbor gary duncan went up with me about a week ago and helped me put in put up sheetrock i'm gonna tell you what you cannot beat good friends good neighbors and good family my sister fed us um but all the work's done in the living room i got a slick finish or sand off the sheetrock and give it one more slick finish coat and paint the ceiling and all that's done. We're gonna have a family reunion in that house, I think at the end of July. I am so looking forward to seeing everybody. And Ron Foster, Foster that means healthy, by the way. He know, You know what I mean. So I'm going to set my camera up on a tripod. And beings, it doesn't matter whether or not this gets damaged i'm going to dump it out on the concrete or on the asphalt because if it don't weigh 200 pound i'll eat that thing so i'm gonna dump it out here on the concrete or on the asphalt hopefully to goodness it won't break my asphalt and then uh, we're gonna take a right angle grinder to it i'll knock the hinge pins out and of course it'll do that but there are bars that go inside left and right as I knew there would be. That wouldn't be much of a security uh, safe if that was what held the door on. So it's got steel wheels on it. Can't believe they still rolled. And uh, so I'm gonna dump this thing out and I'm gonna cut it open. We'll see how far we get and maybe you guys can take a bet on what's inside because now these people were poor judging by all the stuff they had in their house they was as much a hoarder as anybody would be and boy what a mess it was but hey i'm not here to judge i'm going to crack this safe open and i'll be willing to say it has not been opened if i was going to guesstimate i'd say probably 30 years so i'm going to dump this thing out get a right angle grinder on it let's see what happens Truck up. All right. Nope, that didn't open it. So I think probably what's the best bet is to cut a ring around that thing. Uh, I even went on YouTube kind of get an idea of what other people did and right angle grinder some guy used a circle saw I'm not going to do that so I'm going to put this on pause a second and move my truck out of the way close the shop door and we'll go to butchering on this thing alright guys if I'm talking a little loud I got my earplugs in I can't hear myself talk hardly so I'm going to put a right angle grinder on there and see what it'll do.
All right, so I had a little change of plans. I'm just gonna cut a door out the side. I'm gonna pry that open and see what's in it. So hold on, I'm gonna grab a tool or two. Sorry about that, I forgot to cut the camera on. <laughs> what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this off and once I get that wall opened up and get down in there because let's face it this is just about as exciting as watching paint dry hold on guys all right guys so I beat on it and got that outer jacket and the concrete out of it I gotta put my earplugs back in So you can see I have not been in it. Your guess is as good as mine. What is in there? This chunk, I don't know why they stuck that in there. I guess it's just a place to put the trash. So I'm gonna take the right angle grinder and cut that. It's fairly thin. And uh, hopefully they ain't a hundred million dollars in there getting ready to set on fire. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. So hold on one second. Here we go. That's about as good as it gets. One second, I'm gonna hook a fan up so I ain't breathing that mess. All right, now let's try this. been opened up in a long time I can actually smell the same smell that was in that house or in that church okay 
Guys, brace yourself. You are not going to believe. Oh my goodness. You ain't going to believe what I have found. I might ought to call the IRS before I show this and see who I am beholden to give all this to. Gee, so Pete, I won't never have to work another day in my life. This baby is completely empty. There's a box here that's held on by a screw. I'm gonna open it, but it sounds, uh, well, that's loose. I'd be willing to bet. It is empty also. I'll have to pry that out. It looked like there was one, an oxygen desiccant. Man, this wasn't even worth bringing home for the gas. This will probably be the combination. <laughs> and I wouldn't doubt it. Oh my goodness. McDowell County Pharmacy. 1977 or 71. That's 77. Geneva White. I knew her. You gotta be kidding. That was what was in that safe. Now I have a feeling that that box, just by the sound of it, is a couple of empty drawers. Well now, just ain't that about the tip, most typical anybody cutting a safe open. That's about usually what you get is the mess to clean it up. Who keeps a safe that's just completely empty? <laughs> All right. Hey guys, remember to give thanks. And I do mean that. Remember to give thanks and always have a great day.